Hey, hi, this is uh, Chris Chan, uh, founder of uh, PPP Academy and the creator of Refer Revolution. Now, I'm very happy to be invited as one of the speakers at the AFA Singapore Congress, which is happening uh, these two days. I'll be speaking tomorrow. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to actually uh, uh, pick the brains of a highly, highly successful agency leader in Singapore. Uh, in fact, Piao Ta uh, is what was one of the youngest and most dynamic agency leaders, and he has the highest retention in Singapore with close to 40% of his people being MDRT qualifiers. This is uh, a highly, highly uh, remarkable achievement. So let's learn a bit from Piotr's experience. Uh, Piotr, welcome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, um, among all the success that you have, uh, which are the achievements that you value the most? Yeah. Um, I think in one of, uh, in our business, one of the biggest things and the biggest takeaways is the ability to touch the lives of people, um, to touch the lives of the candidates that join us and the consultants that join us. Mm. That's why through time we have focused a lot on uh, building systems, building structures, so that more and more of us can attain success. Um, and through the years we built the system to allow us to get a 40% uh, million dollar round table qualification. Um, and through that success, I think what's important is that we get to reach out to the families, we get to touch the lives of their families and their friends and to, and to see that confidence built in our people um, for them to really have that connection with their clients, I think that's, that's, that's beyond money. Um, and that's something that we strive to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. Thank, thank you very much for sharing. Now, so now, um, I always believe that uh, being an agency, uh, agency leader is, uh, is not an easy job, right? Being a top advisor, manage your own business is tough enough, right? Imagine you've got to manage everybody's business. So, as a, as a successful leader, uh, can you share with our audience, especially those who are either thinking of becoming an agency leader or you are already a leader yourself, uh, what are some key secrets to running a successful team? Yes. Um, I think I've tried very hard to do in the last 10 years um, to, to understand the values that's required to do well in our business. I have spoken to leaders in our industry too. Uh, I picked on their brains and try to pick out what's good for myself and my style. Um, I think what's important is to be consistent. Um, I think one of the key things that a leader must have uh, in our industry is consistency. Mm. Because um, as the business comes in, as the business has its flows and ebbs, what's important is the consistency of leadership uh, for your people, right? That's one. Um, I think to have very clear value system um, in your whole organization, the value system from your leaders, uh, from the managers, from the consultants, it, it should all be aligned, right? Um, I think, yeah, I think consistency um, and the delivery of values um, to your people, it has to be clear in order to be, to be a good leader. Yeah. To be a good leader. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, since we're talking about leadership, obviously uh, it has to do with people, right? Uh, there's always saying uh, the quality of a company depends on the quality of people. So, so Piotr, how do you attract and retain talent in a very competitive uh, environment today? Yes. I, I think that's one very interesting thing because every day um, as an agency leader, one of your key jobs is to recruit. Um, but I've, I, I kind of look at it in, in a different way. Uh, I, think, I think recruitment is natural. Um, I think a lot of effort should be placed in retention. Um, however, if you look, at, look clearly at retention, um, then the problem and the solution comes to selection, which mm. is recruitment, right? So if you, if you look at um, recruitment and how we select, I think that this is one of the biggest, um, it's one of the most important things about uh, how we recruit and retain. So mm. first, we need to select people that fit into your team values, uh, that fit your requirements and your style of management. Mm. That's one. Uh, you need to fit people that you are able to groom, that have the desire and the hunger to do well, right? And then after you select the right individuals, we put in a whole lot of effort, right, to, to groom them. We, we take hours, we have one-to-one -one coaching, we have weekly meetings, we... We meet them almost on a daily basis, almost every other hour we are talking, especially for somebody new. So there's a lot of support that's required for somebody new. Mm. Um, then through that process, they learn, um, and hopefully they become successful uh, and, and be a million dollar, million dollar round table qualifier. Nice. That's uh, wonderful. I talk about, uh, they're talking about close to 90% retention, yeah. right, which is uh, unheard of. Uh, based on my, my experience across uh, speaking uh, in different parts of uh, Asia, this is quite amazing. So since you talk about the uh, selection, yeah. so in your particular case, right, so what kind of qualities do you look for when you, it comes to selecting people for your own organization? 
Um, I think one of the most underrated values uh, in selection uh, in the world today is hard work. Um, I value hard work. I think hard work forms the very foundation and basis of anybody that wants to be successful in our business. Right, that's one. Um, secondly, I think it's humility, whether there's a connection between me and the candidate, whether mm. I feel that I can lead this individual to success, mm. right? whether the person has the humility to learn our systems and processes and implement them quickly. Mm. Right? Because as a trainer, as a coach, as a mentor, what, what I can do is I can share my knowledge and experience, but the effort, the effort has to be from the individual. Right? So hard work, humility forms the very basic requirements that we want from an individual. Mm. Um, then, of course, on top of that, we have lots of bonuses, right? We have proactiveness, whether they are, um, whether they are fluent in their communication, whether they have a lot of friends. Mm. I think all those are bonuses, right? Mm. Um, if you have the very foundation and are willing to work it out in our business, um, this business gives opportunities to many. Right. I fully, fully agree. So if I can sum it up, the core basically H&H, &H, right? Basically hard work, yeah. hard working and uh, humility, yes. being humble. Okay, so now the, the attrition rate in the industry for people who, who, who newly join the business is extremely high. Yeah. All right, in certain countries, it can be up to 70-80% um, attrition rate yeah. within the first year. So now you have 90% uh, retention rate. Yeah. All right, so uh, what, are the, what are some of the struggles you feel that uh, new advisors will face when they first join the business? And, and how do you or uh, your team of leaders, uh, your system, actually help them overcome these challenges? Yeah. Um, first, I think we need to be fair to, to the candidates who decide to join us. So at the very front, we share with them all the challenges that they might face. Mm. They may or may not face. So the whole long list of, of challenges will be listed to them. We will explain to them what, how they will feel emotionally, what, how they will have to go through it. Um, how they'll sleep at night for the first 10 days, 20 days, 30 days. Um, and this puts the candidate in a position of decision. So you kind of prep them in advance. Yeah. Mm. Um, and this prepping allows them to really understand that what they will face. Mm. And when they come in and these things happen, the trust that they have for the organisation will increase dramatically. Mm. That they know that, yeah, my leader is one that does not um, mislead me. Mm. Uh, my leader is somebody mm. who is honest, who shares with me what's going to happen. Um, and, and that trust is the very foundation, right, of, of leading somebody. Yes. You, you can't lead somebody that doesn't trust you, mm. right? You shouldn't mislead somebody that you want to trust you, right? Mm. So, so I think um, that's how, what we do um, as a management. We recruit, we share with them what are the issues that they will face. The real issues. Yeah. Right. And then from that, from day one, uh, we train them on very, very specific things on what to say, what to dress, uh, what to write. Uh, when to say every, everything is trained um, and we have a very, you got it scripted you got yeah. the oh, okay. it's all scripted um, and we have a very close feedback loop right um, when our new candidates they go out there they meet clients and then they face objections this happens um, this happens almost instantaneously the mm. loop is almost instant right they, they face challenges and, and immediately our trainers mm. will be uh, informed and then we can address those concerns necessarily Right, mm. so, so that feedback loop, I think, is very important and very assuring for somebody new in our business. Mm. Right, so we invest um, a lot of time right, in, in our new consultants to ensure that they, they get up to speed and their confidence uh, is maintained and, and built day to day. Mm. Thank you very much. So the way I look at it is uh, uh, by, devel uh, by, by uh, telling them not just the, the rose petal, also telling the thorns of the business, yeah. And when, when you know, actual uh, delivery and it matches their expectation, uh, you don't overpromise, so that help develop trust and yeah. trust is key. Um, okay, that's fantastic. Well, my, my last question to Piao Ta is this, and you um, understand that for most uh, advisors, when they first join the business in the, in the first three to six months, if they are not productive, they're not making money, yeah. they struggle, there's a high chance that they will leave or they become un uncooperative. Yeah. All right, so what's, what are the system you put in place or some foundational program you have in place mm. in the first 90 days? Can you tell us a bit more what you do exactly in your foundational period? Okay. Um, I, th I think when people join our business, um, they are very lost. They just know that they want to do well. They want to get um, all the pluses of our business, uh, which is the flexibility, the income, and the ability to connect with people. Right? But what they face in the first weeks of their business is not that. 
right? Mm. Um, they face rejection, they get people running away from them. So, so, so what they receive in the first 10 days to 30 days is completely not what they expect and not what they want, right? So um, I think in our foundational training program, what we do is we train them on the scripts. Um, they know how to engage the cli clients. They know the questions to ask. So you force feed them or something? Um, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, we give them the whole long list of things. Um, and I think it is... Do they, do they going to do it their way in the uh, first uh, 10, 20 days, 30 days? How does it work for... Okay. Yeah. I think for, for us, we, we... The sad thing is they don't. Uh. So, so they don't get to do it their way. They, they do it my way. Right. Um, I think it's a process. Have a reason for that, yeah. right? I think it's a process because we have a system which has been successful across many individuals. We have people that are fresh from polytechnic, uh, fresh from army. We have people who just came out from uni. We have mid-career people from the bank. And they all use the same scripts, um, the same methods, and they have all produced results. Right. So for somebody new, I think um, it's a very simple understanding that you come in, um, you follow our system, you learn, you practice, um, you make it work for you. And then as time passes and you build your expertise, we, we will be very happy as an organization to accept your ideas, um, to learn from you, to learn from your experience. And, and, and as, a, as a team, we can grow, right? But at the very beginning, um, I think it's, it's foolish, right? To, to allow somebody who doesn't know what they're doing um, to, to try it that way. Um, it, it's, like, it's like, I don't know, a kid going to kindergarten and then saying that, oh, you know, you can study whichever subject you want. Uh, you can pick up whichever textbook you want. Um, it's just that we'll play with our toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can play your toys or you can do your textbook. Uh, I, think it's, I think we need to provide some structure, right, mm. to ensure that their success and the odds of their success is increased, right, because people join our line not knowing what to do, right? It's, it's a leader's duty to ensure that they end up knowing what to do and they do well. Right, I think that's very important. So that, that's the key foundation to the foundational program. Yes. Okay. So finally, my last last question. Now that you're so successful, you are, you know, financially very comfortable. Uh, I mean, you're still working hard. Uh, what what drives you to 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 do what you do, and what's ahead for your career in the next uh, three five years? Um, I think I think this is a question that I struggle every day. Um, the other day, I just had a candidate speak to me, and she asked me, "So, Pella, what what's your three to five year plan?" Um, I honestly struggle for an answer. Um, in, in this day and age where everybody's talking about, oh, what's your vision, right? Um, I'm an individual that almost lives day by day. Um, I, 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 my answer to her was that every day I strive to make sure that my people become better. Uh, in my day-to-day -day conversation with my guys, I try to share with them values. I, I share with them ideas on how to communicate with their clients better. I, help them with their planning, with their own family finances, be it their weddings, um, be it them thinking about how they want to plan their holidays for next year. Mm. I, I think on a day-to-day -day basis, I work hard, I work really hard um, to, to stay in communication with my guys. Mm. Um, because the vision of, of my organization and the vision of myself um, changes day-to-day -day, um, as my people change, right? So my job on a day-to-day -day basis is to ensure that my people reach their potential. Um, I'll work with them uh, on things that they want to, things that they need to, right? So that so they become better. Um, so, so the next three of us will be interesting, I think, um, because we have a new set of, set of managers that's coming up. Um, they will have their own ideas, and, and we would love to have those ideas in the organization. Mm. And, and this new vibrancy uh, of new people will, will, I think, build new life right, uh, to our organization. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Awesome. So I, I will, uh, thank you so much, uh, Piata, for the generous sharing. I, I believe you benefited tremendously from this exclusive interview. So, uh, Piata, I wish you all the best in your thank career. You. And thank you so much for your wonderful sharing. Welcome. See you around. See you. Bye-bye.